So, before we can wet felt one of these, we need a hat block. Uh, and traditionally, hat blocks are this kind of thing. So, it's a solid lump of hardwood. Um, you buy these second hand on eBay, you can get them made. Um, the problem with wood as a uh, wet felting hat block material, it's not very water friendly. You need lots of different hat blocks, different styles. Or do you? We'll come to that. You need lots of different sizes. If somebody says, can you make me a hat and they want a particular size, well, not so easy to just get hold of one of those. But very nice. Um, this is an aluminium or an aluminium. You might know it as, hat block. We know it as aluminium here in Nottingham. So commercially, if you're making a hat that you're marketing, you want every hat you want the first the hundredth, the five hundredth, to be exactly the same. You're trying to make the same style of hat. But really, the first trilby or the first fedora that was made, it wasn't made on a block, it was a, a hat body that was styled. So, um, this is an ABS plastic hat, hat block, so it's a flat sheet of ABS plastic, heated up and shrunk. Um, vacuum formed onto a block. So this one is pulled off this one here. But again, before you can make that, you've got to have a wooden block. Uh, it's a very tight fit look to make it out of. We'll leave that in there. So ABS is great, totally impervious to water. You could make thousands of hats off the same block. But again, to have lots of different sizes and different styles, you need lots of blocks. Uh, I make mine myself, but I've still got to make the block to pull them off. Um, though I have got a slightly simpler way than carving a wooden block these days, but um, for most people that's, that's something you might buy one or two of. It's expensive if you want ten. So, I hear you ask, do I get a lump of wood to make one of these? Um, and no, we have, a, we have a, a way around this, we have a simpler way. So this is come out now. So that's a lump of wood that this block has come out of. And to, to get that to this shape, not straightforward. Not for everybody. Specialist tools, specialist skills. Still lots of time, regardless. So the other thing to consider is: Do you need all these different shapes of blocks to make different shapes of hats? Could you just have a very basic block that you then put the shapes into yourself? And I think you can really. So if you take this not particularly well felted fedora, but if you take its starting shape, there it is on that block. Take it off, put the shapes in. So there's no reason why you couldn't make yourself a block like this and then do lots of different styles. doesn't have to be this high, um, it, but it can be any size. But you still don't really want to have to hew one out of a block of wood like this. So an alternative um, is this. So this is a block, that's a block I made out of a bowler hat for my grandson, which he will now have outgrown. Um, though my granddaughter is just growing into it by now. Um, so. Just for a one-off hat like that, very simple. But even so, very resilient material. Um, you could make dozens and dozens of hats off that. If you take care of it, it should last you forever. No reason why it shouldn't. So what's that made of? It is made of blue craft foam, or craft foam. You can actually get it in a, in a grey, I've noticed today. But if you search for craft foam or blue craft foam um, on eBay or on the internet generally, you will find it. And the beauty of this, it's it's quite a rigid material. It's not like the white polystyrene that you will have um, you know, seen as packaging, which is easy to shape and cut, but not re very resilient. And also not very easy to shape because it tends to crumble. Um, as, as you'll see, this is, is, uh, is best to work with uh, and will give you a better finish. Um, other advantage of this, it's light. You can buy it just in blocks uh, on the internet, or you can buy it in sheets. This is 150mm, 6 inches thick, which in actual fact is plenty. There's a hat block there, and there's 150mm of 
foam. So in actual fact, it's quite big enough. But if you do want it bigger, you can stick it together with PVA, with white wood glue, you can, you can stick it together. So to shape this, you don't need anything um, in the way of specialised kit. You, you can do, but you could cut, um, you can cut the foam with, he says, most people will have one of these kicking about. Cut it with that, a bit of a rough finish. If you haven't got one of those, you might have one of these kicking about, finer teeth. You might have one of those. So any of these kind of things will cut it very easily. But if you haven't got any of those, you more than likely are going to have one of these, aren't you? So this is a carving knife. So carving knife. will give you a lovely smooth cut. So this is a blank that I have cut um, and to get the size and to start, and I've cheated on that one but I'll, I'll tell you how. So you need to cut yourself a template of the side of the hat measured around where the hat sits here. So you could do that, you, you could take measure, you can work this bit out can't you? Measure around here, get the measurement of, of you or whatever the hat's for. You could just take a guess, draw a shape, measure it, bit hit and miss. This is printed off the internet. This is from Melly Sews, so thank you to Melly Sews for that. Um, lots of different shapes, uh, different sizes, all marked. You cut round the one you want. Having done that, what I recommend you do is stick it to a piece of cardboard, because once you've got it on a piece of cardboard, it is easy to measure around and double check it's the correct size. So whatever way you come up with your template, stick it to a bit of card, double check and measure it. So you would then, in the case of this one that you're going to cut with your carving knife, draw around, mark that shape on here. Uh, in this case what I've done is I've actually, I've actually cut this on a bandsaw, which is what I'd use to cut the wooden blocks. Um, so I've marked it on here. Uh, and then I've actually got the, the saw blade at a slight angle, so I've got a slight taper on this, and I've cut that shape round. So there's my sort of starting point for a hat. Work. But if you're doing it on your draining board at home, or in the lounge, in front of the TV, doesn't make a mess, honestly. Then it's really just a matter of you've got your shape marked on the top, and you can see that very well. But you've just got to work the way around it. But even you know, it's not going to take you very long. I reckon, I reckon an hour or so you'd be, you'd be away. So just roughly cut it back. I mean, you can't take it all in one chunk then. You can take slices off. Just like the Christmas turkey that we've just carved. And just work your way back. Obviously check as you go along. You can cut it off. Not impossible, but, but not that easy to stick it back on. But you could stick it back on. Uh, if you had to. Or fill it or do something. So. I've actually rough cut this actually with saw, but the trouble with that is it does leave quite a rough cut. So you want to cut, if you do it like that, and put it oversized and then trim back to get a smooth cut. So once you've got your rough hat block shape, um, so say you want to just make one like this, you've got your shape halfway there really, but you want to get some shape on here. If you were making a trilby type block, then you want to get this shape on here. So you'd, you'd really eyeball that onto there and, and cut it and, and just work your way around it. So, to get this kind of shape on the top, let's get that out of the way. Again, relatively simple. You could mark it, you could, I guess, go around here and give yourself a line that you're going to work to, and you could do the same around here, but you might want to just eyeball it. So you take the bulk of the material away with your tool of choice, the turkey carving knife in my case. This is an old carving knife, but I have actually got the one I use for the turkey here, so don't tell the wife. So, Work your shape roughly 
and then to refine it, um, you just need some sandpaper. So, um, whenever you're sanding anything, I'll drop my sandpaper into this bucket of water here, so I won't use that. But rather than just use a piece of, you know, don't use a piece of sandpaper and hold it in your hand. You can use it, the trouble is it will just follow the contours. So to get a, a good finish, either I've got a sanding block here, but you just put it around a piece of wood. And then this just sounds really nicely. So, I think you can see, it won't take very long to get this to the shape you want. So, having made this to that shape, you will just wet felt straight onto the surface. This is my, my felting table here that I use. I've got a drain cut around the outside. Um, this is my bamboo blind. Um, and in actual fact, what happens where you get this, this kind of block just sitting on the table, it's really nice to get a good change, a good turn into the brim, and your brim can be any size you want, so it works really, really well. If you wanted to put some creases in here, some shapes, again, you could just um, you can just work away and get the, the bulk of the material away being safer than I am. Uh, and then to get your that kind of shape what you can do is you can shape a piece of the blue foam to this kind of shape, wrap a piece of sandpaper around it and it's quite easy to make yourself a tool that will enable you to sand that kind of shaping. And again to put in shapes like this, it's just a matter of working away at it. In that case you might just hold it in your thumb or whatever, but you'd slice that, that shape across there, taking more care than I am. And then you can sum that shape in there, can't you, in here like this. So, there are your tools really. Knife, block, can be a piece of wood, doesn't need to be that, a piece of sandpaper. This is 120 grit, in case anybody's interested, which leaves quite a reasonable finish on there. Um, so I reckon hour, a couple of hours work, you can have any size and any shape of hat block you want. So, hope you have a go at that and I look forward to seeing your hats.